Hey. You just wake up? No. I heard about this really cool play going on. Got a couple tickets. Want to see it together? I'm not the only one who's got a big day tomorrow. You ought to get some rest. Yeah, I know. But I'm too excited to sleep. I need to do something to let out all this pent-up energy. Like see a play or ride the sky wheel. That's so. <laughs> Plus, you've been frowning so much, I figured you forgot how to smile. That's where I, the amazing Yuffie, come in. Come on! I must away. Release me! My blade thirsts for vengeance! Don't worry, Alfred. I'm here to rescue you. Rosa, how did you find me? Ye old princess intuition, I guess. You can thank me later. She guide my place. Pride goeth before the fall. May mine infernal fangs find their mark and taste of your flesh.
splendid show. Never have I seen a swordsman dance with such grace and skill. The goddess must have seen fit to grant him a sliver of her strength. Perhaps his dreams of becoming a hero may yet be fulfilled. Now then, ha, hail and well met, noble Alfred. Though I am but a humble fool, some talent and divination do I possess. Anything you wish to know, I shall gladly reveal. What is the future if not the product of choices past? Each a fork in the road. None can divine the conclusion of every path. And yet, all tales that begin with a chance encounter share the same end. A tearful farewell. Well, that's enough of my blethering. It's time we set the stage in you. Tremble in fear before the mighty dragon's roar! Enough to prove his heroism once and for all. He had been unjustly imprisoned and stripped of his wings. Nevertheless, Alfred was resolved to press onward and reclaim the heavens. Now, without further ado... Friends, lend me your ears. Our aspiring heroes and indomitable princess's tale draws to a close. Only one act remains. Parting is indeed such sweet sorrow, but as they say, all good things must come to an end. Though it is our wish that this tale remain with you long after we are gone. So, my friends, will you join us in our conquest of despair? Spectacular! Though our tale be loveless named, we may yet restore hope to this heartbroken world. The Dragon King Varvados fears only true love, and so our hero Alfred will reveal to him its power. He will go to his beloved and proclaim their blessed bond with a kiss. Now, stand before your soulmate and let the world know your heart. My love. Alfred. <sighs> ah, face the charade. Love is not but an illusion. <sighs>
bereft of wings and broken. I consign you to the abyss. That was pretty good. Heroic, even. High praise coming from a princess. But don't let it go to your head. <laughs> what awaits you at journey's end, I wonder? Will the goddess grant you her blessing? Or will the flames of vengeance consume you? All shall be revealed, O oh puppet of fate. So dance while you still have time. Dance till your frayed strings break. And you can dance no more. Alfred, look! Must you go? Those I hold dear are waiting. I don't understand. I cannot. But... Please be safe. Rest assured. I shall return. You needn't promise that you'll wait, for I know that I will find you here.
Go on. my words. Next time, I'm gonna be the leading lady. And sing the Materia song? Just you wait. Attention! The Sky Wheel will be closing soon. Please line up and have your ticket ready. All right! Sounds like it's Sky Wheel time! S -s -s -hut! Thank you for joining us for tonight's special performance of Loveless. If you'd like to continue the magic this evening, you're invited to use your tickets to the show for one free ride on the Sky Wheel. Just name the square, and I'll get you there. A dazzling night's time. Hold on, dear Jimbo. crush on you. That's so. Well, not at first. Apparently, even as a kid, you had that weird 
weird loner vibe. But then one day, bam, she caught the love bug. Are you into her? Don't remember. Really? Though, I guess that makes sense. Tifa said she was so busy after the move to Midgard that she forgot all about you, too. Don't know what it is about you guys, but I get it. I had a thing for a soldier once. At least I think he was a soldier. I wanted to prove myself, so I hit him with my best moves. <laughs> Was like I was firing energy blasts. After a few salvos, he shouted, You got me! And at the time, I totally bought it. Of course, he was just playing along for a dumb kid. And once I realized that, I was pissed. I couldn't stop thinking about him. I swore to myself that one day I'd blast that jerk for real. Did some hardcore training so I could give him a beatdown. But eventually, it dawned on me. He was just being nice. Like, he was a really nice guy. And the more I thought about it, the more I realized... Wow. I liked him. You know? Maybe it's because of those feelings that I still can't fire energy blasts. I can help. Uh, with the energy blasts? Or my feelings? The former. Feelings ain't my thing. <sighs> I think we both kind of suck in that department. to you. But if it were me, I'd let him have it. <laughs> Tell anyone about tonight, and you're a dead man! 